check this out. Carol and I are just out on our Sunday walk and talk. Train passing by. And we notice, or I noticed there was something down here on the ice. I thought it was a duck, maybe. Some kind of bird. And we looked through Carol's binoculars and we couldn't tell. Check it out. It's kind of small. I'm not sure if it's a river otter or a mink. Well, there's a there's a raven swooping on it. Just swoop down on it. It's another one right right above. They're checking it out. This thing's uh kind of in a little danger, hanging out on the ice here. Seemingly so, anyway. Wow. Well. <laughs> I think it must be a mink size. Still very cool. There they come, there they come. Whoa. They're swooping, they're swooping. Did he go in? He, they're after him. Yeah, he went in. The uh, the ravens are just, they're diving, dive bombing him. And he went in. Oh, I think he's back surfaced again. Yeah. Let's see if the ravens come back. Sorry if the the quality of my film catching their action is really terrible. Just not even expecting it. And they're swooping in on this guy. I got no tripod or nothing. Why does he want to get out of the water so bad? I don't know, I think he's healthy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh god, it's so scary, all these predators. They're watching him. They're not gonna forget he's there. No. The hawk is fighting with the ravens. There's two 
two ravens and a hawk here. They all want breakfast. Is that something caught in his mouth? This may be of a fishing line in his mouth. Am I just imagining things? I might just be, no, I'm just seeing the white on his, under his chin there. Let me get so close. This. I'm just right here. Boop. Crazy. It's got to be a bit concerned. What's up with this guy? Maybe I'll be able to see better on the camera when I get home, but he's not going to survive like this sitting out here being easily seen by birds. Okay. This footage was taken during my Sunday morning walk and talk on the morning of February 9th, 2020, during the lunar cycle Gato, our fourth of seven winter moons, right about halfway through the moon. And this is the first time I've seen a mink in about two decades of study at this site going there at least a couple times a week but often daily and I've never seen a river otter today never seen a mink although I know they both have on rare occasion passed by I have seen mink more along the belly river on the blood reserve but I've been around them so infrequently that I don't know any of their behaviors and this video is a really good study in that because I make a lot of assumptions you know I assume that the there's something wrong with this animal, why it's staying close to that ice there. Um, I don't know why it's not more concerned with the, with the predators, but I think it knows exactly what it's doing. I mean, look at it here. It's, it, it, <laughs> he's just going to start laying on the ice and grooming. And, uh, that, well, that's what he's already doing. He has no problem. I think I'm going to comment on it in the video in a second. Could it be that this guy is really that secure? Doesn't, doesn't... Oh, there was a, there was a duck moving and it freaked him out. Yeah, so I wasn't sure what this guy was really all about, but I wasn't going to leave this site anytime soon. You know, look at, at him here, and afterward, me and Carol were talking. He, he could not only be grooming, he could be actually like spreading his scent 
on that ice there. He could be leaving mink messages for for others. <laughs> Not that I think he's going to have a lot of takers. Being he's the first mink I've seen in 20 years or so. He's just coming closer to me. Watch here for a few minutes. Uh, I guess he's not stuck to anything. Okay, we're into the last segment now, but it's about five minutes long, and it's well worth the watch. I mean, there was plenty to pick up on before. I had assumed that this animal was in trouble a little bit, when, especially when the raven swooped it, chased it into the water, and then it still came back up, and there was just, you know, birds of prey just stationed all around watching it. I thought, oh, this, and, and Carol thought too, this guy's probably not going to make it <laughs> if he wants to look at this this is what we were kind of worried about is he was going to try to cross the ice from one open water source to another and in the process uh, get really easily picked off but we really didn't have that much to worry about I think he used me to my advantage I'm saying he but it's like we'd be a female I think he used me to my advantage um, be in there and right now you see him kind of investigating seeing if he can if he can go away from the ice or go away from the running water and seeing how safe he is and uh, you watch he'll get he gets a ways out he's checking checking but uh, he eventually turns back and I think this is just preliminary Hey, I think he's just kind of looking, okay, where am I going to go? And then he's testing it out. Can I walk out here without getting attacked by those birds? How far can I go? And he's standing up, looking around. Are there any predators? I'm on the ice. He doesn't seem to care about me. <laughs> he seems to be a really good judge of when there's a real threat and when there's not. when a predator is close enough to him and when it's not. So it goes a little ways toward this next source of open water and then turns back. Back, 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 back to the river. So I'm going to let you watch because he, that was just a test run and he's going to come close to me again on the river and then you'll see he gets where he's, where he's intended to go. And he wasn't in any trouble all along, he knows exactly what he's doing, this is his domain and he's very comfortable in it. Awesome, awesome Sunday morning sight.